Welcome to this video tutorial on using Boolean searches in your library searches. This is a presentation by Kate Cushion, a liaison librarian at the University of Regina. You're probably asking yourself, why should I learn Boolean searching when I can search just fine in Google without it? Well, the answer to that is that Google uses something called natural language searching. Library-based databases and catalogs work a little bit differently. Natural language doesn't work very well in them. So it's important to use Boolean because this allows you to tell the database exactly what you want it to do in the database's language. This helps improve the precision of your searches, it allows you to form complex multi-part search strategies, and it will just allow you to have more sophisticated searching techniques. Most importantly though, it helps you find exactly what you are looking for and find it faster. So let's take a look at some of the common Boolean operators. Now if you don't know what that means, Boolean operators are words that you use to connect your search terms. The most common Boolean operators are OR, AND, and not. So let's take a look at OR and how that functions in your searches. Connecting terms using OR retrieves items that contain either or both terms. OR expands and broadens your search so that you get more results. It's excellent for synonymous terms, that is, terms that are have the same or similar meaning but they are different words. So for example, education or teaching. This will retrieve all of the results that contain education, that contain teaching, and that contain both. It's also excellent for when you don't absolutely need both ideas, when one or the other is adequate for your research. So for example, novel or fiction. This is a nice broad search to get you started if your research is in this vein. AND functions in almost the opposite way. Connecting terms using AND retrieves items that contain both terms. Using AND between your terms narrows your search and you get fewer results. AND is excellent for connecting unrelated terms that are both important to your research. For example, gender and fiction will retrieve results that contain only both terms. NOT is the final operator we're going to be looking at today. Connecting terms with NOT retrieves items that contain the first term and excludes items that also contain the second term. This is excellent for reducing irrelevant results. So for example, if you're researching religion but you're not interested in items on Christianity, this is a good search to use because that way you're retrieving everything that includes religion but you are excluding everything that also contains Christianity. Now you do need to be careful with this because some of the results that include Christianity will be important to you, but this is a good start. Phrase searching is another important tool for searching. This searches for all of the terms in the order you enter them. It's excellent for titles, famous quotations, and any terms that you need connected in the order that you enter them. You use parentheses or quotation marks to indicate a phrase search. So for example, if you're searching for catcher in the rye, entered just like that, it's going to retrieve something that looks like this. This is not a very precise search. You're going to get a lot of irrelevant search results based on this kind of entry into the database. Instead, if you search for something like this, catcher in the rye with parentheses or quotation marks, it's going to retrieve the exact title that you're looking for. So whether to use parentheses or quotation marks is something that you need to look in the database's help or tips page for. There's usually a link to the help or tips page near the search bar. Truncation and wildcard are two more important tools. So let's look at truncation. The truncation symbol in most databases is usually a star or a question mark, but it can be other symbols. Again, consult the tips or help page to determine which one the database expects. Sometimes the symbol replaces one letter, sometimes it replaces multiple or even infinite letters. So again, you'll want to look at the tips or help page to determine what the database is going to do. This is excellent for searching for related words that start with the same letters. So for example, entering in spirit with a question mark or star will retrieve spirit, spirits, spiritual, etc, etc. Wildcard is a slightly different tool. This replaces letters within a word. So for example, if you enter in the term that I have as an example here, it retrieves woman or women. As with truncation, different databases use different symbols if wildcards are supported at all in that database. So be sure you're looking in the tips or help page to determine whether or not wildcard is supported. So where to use these tips? Well, you can use them in the University of Regina catalog. If you click on the advanced search, you'll see that our advanced search allows you to formulate searches that are connected with Boolean operators. Academic Search Complete, one of our popular databases, also uses Boolean operators between its search terms, as does the Literature Resource Center. 
Now, if you have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, or if you're having trouble using the catalog or databases, a good place to start is clicking on Start Your Research here on the library's homepage. The LibGuides and Video Tutorials can walk you through a lot of those steps. If you click on Ask ArcherLink anywhere on the library website, that will connect you to an instant message conversation with a reference librarian who can answer any of your questions. You can also get in touch with me, Kate Cushion, your liaison librarian at the University of Regina, kate.cushion at uregina.ca. Good luck with your research.